Good afternoon and welcome once again to more action right here in the Singapore badminton circuit and this of course is the Singapore School Sports Council initiative the national school games badminton contest and today it's going to be the boys who take on the mantle of providing us with the entertainment it's Fuhua secondary facing off at Commonwealth secondary and a very interesting matchup because both these sides have been very pro proficient I'd say in their badminton exploits starting off uh, we've got Shihan of uh, Fuhua who will take on Ashton Tay in the singles. Now keep in mind the fact that uh, this is going to be an interesting battle because we've got two doubles and three singles. Now whoever or whichever school caps off the first three, so let's say it's a 3 nil or a 3-1 score, then that uh, school will have won the semi-finals. But uh, all said and done, we still will play out all five games, so don't forget to stick with us for the entire stretch or the duration of today's events very interesting uh, as far as the contest is concerned and we shall get to that uh, later on we've been covering most of it and looking at how the lads have been performing my name is Glenn Mascarenes and uh, I'm here to take you right through to through today's action we will start off uh, in just a little bit as I said earlier just to give you an identifier uh, Chong Xian of uh, Fuhua. He's in the blue and black. And uh, with those electric blue shoes. And in the red and black, that is uh, Ashton Tay, who is representing Commonwealth Secondary. Uh, we'll get to how these teams have actually uh, progressed and got here so far in just a little bit. So, right here at the, at the Hua Chong Institute. Warm-up done. Simultaneously, we've got a few other, well, uh, games that are being played. Get ready. And uh, we're just gentlemen. about to head off with the first match of the day. Chang Chian in the blue and black Sorry. and in the red and black. Ashton Tay. The Empire Who just introducing the lads. Level play. It's an unforced error. Would have been expected, but not from this lad. One love. Get started in an emphatic fashion. Shion. It's making Ashton sweat a bit. fairly interesting when you actually talk about how well he's progressing with the points he's now up to three Shia. just been very clinical with his uh, entire strategy just making the lad from Commonwealth well sweat as much as he can decent placement all about serving placement, and that's what he's been concentrating on. Race to five points already. So, first points there for Aston Tay. And uh, all the serve to be swapped back again. Managing to keep it within the line, and that's the very interesting uh, part of this entire well contest that's happening on the court in front of us. Shian, very much in control of his game, but for most part of it, just unable to get that execution right, putting it wide. Ashton Tate to serve at two points to seven. Oh, lovely touch. Service over. Eight, two. Well, can be a bit predictable at times. Nine, two. Now a seven point lead. Just restored that. And 
uh, here's the odd bit about Xi'an if you're just trying to gauge his game. Oh, nothing flamboyant. He's just been very, very clinical. A bit unassuming with his movement. But he's been able to get that in time and again. So here we have the first break as uh, Fuhua secondary lead 11 points to 2. It's been a good start for them, a very bright start if you ask me. And as I said, Xi'an, very unassuming, uh, but he's kept his game plan pretty much orthodox. It's all about serving placement. As far as the lad from Com Commonwealth goes, he's just had a bit of time getting into his rhythm, but a few words with the coach can always be an exciting bit, and that can change uh, the entire outcome of the next half. So, interesting to see, because the coach would have read the game even better. And that's just a sign of how, you know, those few words can already three, make a bit of difference. 11. So, moving up to three points. Yeah. So please put that out. So, it's back to Xi'an. Well, almost does it. That shot has worried him the second time around. Uh, trying to cross court. Ability to dock the ball just within the line of play. It stood in good for today. Chong Xian. Well, rising up to the occasion, and that's what you want. You want to fight back. Aston Tay unwilling to throw in that racket as yet. It's still early days in their match, but now a nine point lead for, for Xian. looking to well use the placement therapy but it's not always going to be easy they well, just could have got the better there but uh, a bit a bit of a rush from uh, Ashton saw him net that As I said earlier, it was still early days, so can't really gauge the entire outcome on the first game alone. Out. For the time being, it is Xi'an of Fuhua, Hu, Hu, who's at uh, 18 points. Let's make that 19. We're racing towards the first game 19. point. It's been uh, a good effort from him. Very clinical, hasn't uh, really improvised or done much. He's just kept to his natural game and uh, waited for the opposition to make a few errors. Ashton Tay will definitely have to have a real look at well, his uh, replies and his moments on the field. And there we have it, the first game. It's Xi'an, raced away to a 21 5 score rather quickly. And uh, Fuhua win their first game of the day through Chong Xi'an. We will get into the second well game of the match and this time it's uh, a change of sides as we always know. You can visit us at uh, go.gov.sg slash nsg uh, to follow not only the fixtures and results but also little bits and bobs. Here's the interesting bit. You'll find little tidbits on, on sports and you know all the activity that's happening. Um, my suggestion would be catch up with it. A lot of us really don't do that uh, and we're guilty of it but catch up with it. It's really exciting. There's a lot of youngsters out there who've got so much of potential and Every time you do catch up with it, every time you log on, you know, it's just a bit more encouragement for these youngsters uh, going forward. Into the second game. And uh, a point up is uh, Shia. Uh, second thoughts are whether he should have left that or he should have taken it, but all the same, it's now. I do stand corrected the so of those was right on the net, which is why Two, it was a reserve taken. One. Well, Three, don't want one. this game to be the same outcome as the first, so oh, that's the first time we've seen actual movement. Just the whip of that shot and now that gentle touch. Well done. Absolutely marvelous play from Xi'an. Well, 
very interesting bit. I uh, had a chance to talk to the legend uh, Lee Chong Wei once, and uh, very, very interesting as to how he put it. He said, you know, the smash is when you, you sew up like an eagle or a hawk and you swoop down on your prey. But uh, he said the depth smash, which is basically the one where you feign the actual movement, that's when you glide up like a seagull and you knock the ball down as gently with your wing. So you knock the, the birdie down. So it's such two contrasting moves and uh, Xi'an will using them to good measure in, in one of his uh, movements. That was in the sixth point. It's eight points now. Now let's make that nine. Nine. One. Very comfortable lead for the Fu Hua youngster. Aston still struggling to answer those questions. Oh. And it's the first time around that he's shown Ten. just a tad bit of One. aggression. Oh, that's beautifully done. That had power, that had speed, and that had accuracy. And that's actually, that's really what happens to badminton players as they get warmed up. So the first break of the second game. Or the only break to be precise unless there's a timeout so it's 11 to 1 that's where the score stands Xi'an doesn't want to lose that momentum which is why he's got back in and no talk with the coach just went there paid his respects cleaned his souls and he's back on Play. looking to finishing this lovely servant touch as always Here's the interesting bit of the game where he's actually managed to control most of it, making his opponent uh, do the stretching and the running, and that's when you know a, a player is fairly seasoned, has had a good amount of practice. As I said, he's unassuming. When you see that smash, you pretty much know the amount of dedication that has gone into the sport from the Fuhua Yamsa. Two points now for Ashton and a chance to just get back. Maybe a bit of an uphill climb, but looks like it's going to be difficult. So it's over 14-2. So 14-2. Shian serves again. He's definitely got that well aim to finish off the game fast, and I don't blame him for it because from that point in the momentum is so important. You lose it even for a tag, but you can actually become well, you can become the opponent that is at the failing end. An attempt to return that. We're up to 16 points now. Xi'an very quickly racing towards a finish. There's no doubt about it. Hasn't been too much of a contest between the two. The first game just a little bit stronger from Ashton Tay. It's the second game where Xi'an has just dominated most parts of play. Up to four points for Ashton. Four, seventeen. The Commonwealth secondary lad. Well, we'll definitely take a lot of lessons from this performance. And, uh, well, that's what the great thing about sport, isn't it? With every game that you play, there's always room for improvement. There's always room to learn. And as long as you're a good learner, oh, you could perfect the sport or at least come close to it. So racing towards that uh, second uh, game point. And there it is. He's got a couple of game points here, actually. But with this, and he's pretty much won the game, and that's it. That was a quick finish, very speedy, good performance by Xi'an, very clinical in his approach to uh, the game. And Fuhua take the first, they take the first match. It's Zhang Xi'an, who got the better of Ashton Tay of Commonwealth, 21-5, 21-4. So that's one in the bag for Fuhua secondary. We're going to move on to the doubles. And uh, in the doubles, of course, it's an entirely different story. We are going to find out what exactly will transpire here between the lads. Let's take a quick look at uh, let's take a quick look at the pairings and also how they are going to be well stepping up to the contest.
once again just a reminder, a reminder of what's transpiring here today. And in case you've just joined us, and good afternoon and welcome to the show. It's uh, the Hua Chong Institution, which is uh, really a very fairly impressive um, institution in terms of its setup, size, uh, the structure, and of course the amount of, uh, of development uh, of sports and the focus that's given to it. Let me remind you that this is the Singapore School Schools Sports Council initi initiative, the National School Games Badminton. Due to COVID, of course, last year there was a break put on that. Um, today is the semi-finals uh, of the boys' division. It's Fuhua Secondary facing off with Commonwealth Secondary. The first game was won by Fuhua Secondary. Let's get you acquainted with the lads on field for the doubles representing Fuhua. It's going to be Xianqi, who is the tall lad with the black shoes and the orange netting. And uh, Lucas Tan, who's got the white shoes on with the fluorescent green net, uh, fluorescent green, uh, well, surface on his racket. As far as Commonwealth go, we see Two lads on there, that's Joe Fung, who's wearing the black and red shoes. And with him, it's Pang Wei Lun, who's got the blue shoes with the orange, well, streaks. So, easy to recognize the lads as far as, well, the action is concerned. Keep in mind the fact that both these schools have at least five years or, or more in terms of their development and how it's been running. Uh, most of them do employ the DSA program and uh, well Fuhua has adopted that since 2018 so a lot of their lads do come from uh, the DSA and uh, what's what's important is that because of 2019 well there was a good bit of action but in 2020 they had to miss out on it so a lot of those lads who would have been playing last year are here today uh, they've all of course uh, become seniors now no longer in that uh, junior well arena. There's also a very key interesting bit of trivia, and this has nothing to do with the sport, but strangely, all four lads in the field actually have spectacles. Well, you don't see that too often uh, in, in a game of badminton. You do see similarities sometimes in terms of shoes and apparel, of course, being the uniforms. But all four lads do have spectacles. Um, I remember my sport playing days. Well, I did try shifting to using lenses for a bit and how uncomfortable that was, especially when the sweat trickles in. I had to go back to my good old spectacles. So it's all good except for, I guess, uh, a few sports like, like boxing. Now, just by the warm up, you can get a feel of what you can expect. All four lads do like a speedier game, and uh, you'll get a feel of how they do like the aggression, and that's what really changes in badminton, the complexity, the aggression that's thrown in terms of smashes. So we are going to start off, stay with us right here at the Hua Chong Institution as the first doubles game between Fuhua Secondary and Commonwealth My Secondary gosh. takes Great. off in Thank just you. a little bit. Something tells me that this might just be this might just be a real contest here. It would be to start off with the serve. And Lucas Tan will do the honors. Lucas the serve to Joe Bass. Level. Joe was at the receiving end. Uh, taking the first point, always so important in the game. Oh, looking to whip that down, and he's done it. Three in a row. Fuhua no. making sure that it's all done and dusted. Shanji with two attempts. Not the finish from Lucas. That's his. Three, no. It's really what the Fuhua lads are looking at. Not really placement, serve and execute. Oh! 
Oh, well done, yeah. Absolutely. Well done this time around from Jovis. To claim the serve for Commonwealth Secondary. It's Henry Lund who takes the serve. Just getting a feeler in the warm up, too. Um, Shen Chi just struggling a little bit with a shot from the left side of the court. Of these lads on court, very, very focused. And I did say we probably expect a contest, and that's what it is currently. It's at full three. Commonwealth on three points. Are looking for the placement game. Well done there by Shanchi. Uh, Cho was just unable to provide that return. And here's Lucas to serve again. to knock that in. Lucas Stan. Delightful to watch when he's in flight. It's Peng Lun who'll take the serve. For oh, well done. Absolutely perfect placement for that serve. So, Commonwealth now up to five points. It's even Steven so far. Oh. Lovely knock there twice over. But Commonwealth stand up. They're fighting fit as far as we can see, so it's now six points to Commonwealth. Thank you, Lindu, the serve. It's turning out to be a neck and neck battle, and isn't that what you want in sport always? John Chi with the serve. Does well to hold on, and it's seven points now for Hu Hu Hua. He's got that through. A tad bit of seven. luck always a good thing. Seven. So now it's seven all. Look at Stan. Well, seven. expecting the serve and he's got it back from Jovis. Oh. Another superb move from Jovis Fan. He's had a few good knocks in today's game. So this time, well, that depth shot always welcome in badminton. Oh. Looking to knock that through, but just a few worries here for Fuhua for the time being. Commonwealth have moved up to nine points, just one point oh. ahead. Oh. Now it's ten. Closely fought battle between. The pairs on the court. Oh. 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 Knocking the net and that's handed the birdie back over. There's going to be a change. Uh, Peng Wilun will get a new shuttle cock or a birdie, and that's due to the wear and tear. Oh. Joe is looking for quick movement, and he certainly executed that well to get off into the break with a two point lead over Fu Hua. So at the timeout, it's Commonwealth secondary who are on 11 points, who are secondary on nine. Well, the coach is having a few words with them. Remember that this is the part that is so important in badminton. And uh, there are times when, I guess, in table tennis and badminton, uh, equally when you're looking at indoor uh, uh, games, the momentum breaker is so important and it's very legal. Uh, sometimes when you know your opponent is just racing away with points and you want to break their momentum, any form of an excuse is actually one, illegal. Tape up your legs, Plus talk one, to the coach, um, rub your soles <laughs> to uh, get them well less sticky. It, it's, it's all in the game. So here we are. Claiming a point and serve. Lucas with the serve will hold on to it as they draw level. 11 points each now. Just an unforced error there from Young Peng Bidlu earlier. 
I never figure what the coaches tell the lads, but it definitely makes a difference. Oh, oh beautifully done. Absolutely lovely move from Jovis. Just knock that straight back. Here's Peng Bilun to serve. And smartly left that tape to draw level. 13 points each now. with the return. Sometimes you don't want to leave those gems. It's always hard to gauge that bit of whether the birdie's going to step out or not. Lovely return of self from Tengri Lung earlier, but it's Fu Hua who'll claim it. Shanxi to self on 14 points. Talk about placement. And lovely move there. Quick as ever, decided to capitalize on it. Joe was fun. 16 points to Commonwealth. And uh, Shanti just had a little bit of a rough patch. Oh, that was decent placement by Joe's. And that's beautifully done. Beautifully done. Just love those moves. When you can gauge who went to throw in those drop shots and, you know, oh! went to leave. That's so important. That's here. 15 now 18. to Fuhua. Commonwealth on 18. Oh. Able to scale the net. Joris Fang. And it's Lucas Than who'll serve. Up to 19 points now for Commonwealth. 19, it's progressing 16. at a very, very quick pace. Peng Wei Lun with the serve. It's now 17-19. Just looking to knock that in, but 18, that's given now Fu Hua a chance to come even closer. It's 19 all. Well done here by Peng Bia Lun. 19 all. Oh, what a close game this is turning out to be, isn't it? Oh. And knocking that in. Fu Hua, who were behind, are now at game point. And it's Shang Chi to serve. Oh. That aggression, he definitely want to finish it off, and that is a fantastic finish for Fu Hua. Absolutely marvelous job to win it 21 19. After they were lagging behind, you always felt the Commonwealth were right in the driver's seat, but it is Fu Hua who stepped up from the back seat to claim it away. And uh, after winning the first game 21 19, what a finish! So we're on to the second game, and it's very interesting now to see what Commonwealth can come up with as a reply. But this wasn't a one-sided game. It was actually just, I'd say, within, within kissing distance of the points. It, it just went as close and as neck and neck as possible. So, Chan Chi and Lucas Than of uh, Fu Hua doing exceptionally well to win the first game. And Chovis Fang and Peng Wei Lun were on course to win. It's just those last three points that did them in. Now, the strategy for the second game is so important. Once again, if you want to catch up on all the action and information, go to go.goe.sg slash nsg. I'll find out all your information, the fixtures, the schedule, um, locations of where the different contests are happening, just in case you want to cheer the lads. You can catch... Uh, you can catch the action also on, on YouTube, Facebook. And uh, don't forget that while you do that, every single hit and every Second single hit. view counts to help encouraging these young lads Play. in future endeavors. Second game, it's Fu Hua to serve. James Fang just making sure that they claim the first point in return to Lucas Tan's serve. Here's Peng Weilun. Lucas. Once again, Jovis knocking that as hard as he could. 
they lead two points to love. <laughs> nice finish. Shanti. Just made sure that there wasn't going to be too much of a reply there. Two all back again. Pakistan executing the killer move. Shanchi the self. Three, two. And one of the things that you don't get to see too often in singles games, it's just that deft serve over the net and the return of serve so important in a doubles game even more than singles could ever be. So now Fuwa claiming it back. There are three points, just one point behind. Commonwealth. So there was quick return of serves, no use of the wrist and the scope of better reach in doubles always makes it more exciting. It's one of the rare cases where it can be faster, way faster than a singles game. And Commonwealth still holding on to their two point lead. Just an unforced terror there from Shanti of Kuhua. Just once again into the net, and uh, Kuhua will be serving now at five points to six with Commonwealth lead. That's held out. Not a worry at all for Commonwealth. And we're learned with the serve. Uh, that was a bit of par behind that. And it's so important. He was struggling a bit to get that shot right earlier. He's warmed up now, Peng Wei Lun. But Fuhua will hold on. It's so important to get your confidence back, especially with a, a shot or a move that bothers you about getting it right. Oh. Oh. But I'm luckier for Nine. Commonwealth. Six. But I'll always say that even with you know doing voice as a means of, of uh, oh. bread and butter, you can get stuck in the pronunciation of a word and so well becomes a bit of a bother unless you conquer it and that's what you want to do but once you do it it's all smooth sailing and that's exactly what we're looking at with Xiang Chi. he's just Ten, seven. absolutely oh, got no. into his groove right here now Fu Hua lead 10 oh, points to seven let's make that 10 to eight so two Ten, points ahead Ten. Commonwealth to serve and it's Peng Wilun who'll do the honors It's been fast, and Fu Hua have raced to 11 points, three points ahead of the competition. So at the timeout, no left to be seen if Fu Hua hold on to that lead, or will Commonwealth be able to step back into the zone? Um, a very key element that I did forget to mention for Fu Hua as well. Both schools concentrate a lot. The Fu Hua current coach is Liu, Liu Chindong, who is. Uh, a former national player. Uh, he's not here today, but uh, he's been represented by his assistant. Um, so it, it's very clear if you actually look at the two games, both the lads very impressive on either side of the net, but Fu, Fu Hua, just that slight X factor. Rally till then. Commonwealth will claim it after Lucas Tan will send the, the birdie right. Oh, lovely return. If only he had to well, put that in. So Lucas just making the best of that return.
14 points now to Fu Huo. And they're just staying comfortably ahead of Commonwealth in the second week. Earlier from Chen Chi. And a quick reply there from Shan Chi. Gates that beautifully. 15, Did not need to think twice about what his reply was going to be. We have the birdie changed again, and that's thanks to the the wear and tear of the shuttlecock. So 15, 11. So we are with the cell. Oh, lovely placement from Lucas Sun. Jovis, smart for leaving that. 12, 15. So two, three points separate the two teams. Oh, oh the net always. 15, will always be a source of luck and always an apology from the side that wins a point. Oh. That's ingrained from the time you're kids. Youngsters, 15. 14 points now, Commonwealth fighting what? back. Oh, oh. lovely oh. return there from oh. Peng Beilun. Absolutely marvellous return. 15. Quick reflexes from the Commonwealth youngster. Oh. And now taking the lead, Commonwealth up to 16 points. 16, 15. Looking to knock that through and just at the opportune moment. 17. Chi. Not too happy about that. Talk about the finish. You got it here from Lucas Thun. 16. 17. So, now at 16. Commonwealth at 17. This has turned out to be another close encounter. And let's make that 17 all. A bit unfortunate here for Peng Wilun. Just a point ahead of the contest. Well, let's call that even. Stevens back again. It's 18 all. And Pinwilin will serve. Oh, what a gentle touch. Oh. This, time. this time, they're just one point ahead. One point ahead. Can they hold their nerve here? That's so important. Pinwilin with the serve. And he's dragged that wide. A bit tough there for Jovis Fung. Oh. Yes. Shang-Chi. Yes, sir. And the net always, 19. as I said, 19. it favors the lucky ones. Okay. Oh, well done. Went cross court with that finish, Shang-Chi. Absolutely marvelous finish from him, and uh, it's Fu Hua who won the second battle as well. 21 19, 21 19. It almost uh, looks like a doppelganger or deja vu as far as the scores are concerned. Closely fought battle and a marvelous effort from uh, Commonwealth Secondary as well, but the Fu Hua lads really emerging tops there, just having that slight edge over the opponent. So, Shen. Uh, Chen Xianqi and uh, Lucas Thon uh, winning the second event 21-19, 21-19 over Commonwealth Secondaries Jovis Fang and Peng Wei Lun. So that's two in the bag for Fu Hua. They need one more event and that could be the next singles or the next uh, doubles or the second uh, you know, doubles match. Um, if they win three, they will win the semi-finals uh, of this event. So very, very interesting to figure out now what will transpire uh, right here. For our next event it's going to be the singles and uh, representing 
Fu Hua. It's Ming Yu. And uh, he will face off with Ryan Ong. Ryan Ong and Ming Yu will uh, face off for the second singles event of the day. Let's just remind you that this is the Singapore Schools Sports Council Initiative, the National uh, School Games Badminton. We are in the midst of the West Zone B Division Boys Championship. And uh, let's tell you what exactly transpired where uh, we did have Fuhua Secondary School who uh, faced off with Nanhua, won that battle 3-2. They also defeated Hillgrove Secondary 4-1 and defeated Crunchy Secondary School 5-0. So they played three and won three of the encounters to make it to the semi-finals. They're quite a formidable force in this entire contest and it's been interesting as to how they have performed. So I'm not really surprised by their exploits today on, on the court. Now let's look at the other end of the spectrum, also in the West Zone B Division boys championship quarterfinal we saw commonwealth secondary school commonwealth faced off against uh, Cho Cho Kong secondary school and defeated them 4-1 they then had a rather slim but a good victory 3-2 over Jerome secondary school before they finished off with their final game which was against uh, Hua Chong and uh, they lost that game two games to one which means they played three one two and lost one game but they finished off with five points on the table which uh, put them right behind uh, Hua Chong institution Hua Chong finished with six points after winning all three of their games so very interesting as to how this has uh, transpired it's been a very very interesting well lead up or a roadmap to All right. ladies and gentlemen the semi-finals on my right who was secondary school represented by Chiu Ming Wei and on my left Commonwealth set represented by Ryan Ong 
Just to remind Love you, all. Ryan Ong Play. for Commonwealth and Wing Yu for Commonwealth. Just about quick movement there. He's excited about getting that point back. Mingyu. Out. Two. One. So leading two one. Ryan Ong just dragging that right was looking for Three, one. well the placement to its well to side but overstepping the line. Leading by three points. Out. Let's make that four. Right now, starting off well, but just seems to have tapered down a little bit with his rhythm. Lovely flip of the wrist. Don't see too many well players, especially at uh, the younger levels, using the backhand. They do prefer the forehand, which is so much more natural and easy, but sometimes that flick with the backhand can be so deceptive. So here we are, six points uh, to one as uh, Mingyu leads comfortably. Oh. Once again, that sailed out. So he's Seven. keeping that stretch of that lead actually now to six points ahead of Ryan Ong of Commonwealth. Oh. And an opportunity Seven. here for the Commonwealth Two. youngster. Seven to get back into the game, it's two points to seven. That will do Ryan Ong's confidence a world of good. Well, Ming unable to really slam that down. Did have the force, but not the accuracy for the previous shot. Well, his placement and that backhand always could be his forte. He's used it to good effect today. So leads eight point to three. The Fuhua lad. You always want to try and figure out as to how you are going to get the better of the opponent in terms of reading that opponent's game. And Well, the first game sometimes Ten. does take the route. Some competitors who can read the opponent's game very fast, sometimes it takes them an entire game to do so 11, three, before they move on to the second game. So here's the timeout. And uh, Fuhua lead comfortably. Mingyu on 11 points and Ryan Ong of Commonwealth on three. Now, this is a very crucial game for Commonwealth if they want to stay on course to the finals. Remember the results of the two semi-finals that are being played here today. The winners will go on to the final and uh, those that do not win uh, will go on to play or to contest the third and fourth position uh, in the West Zone B Division Boys uh, Final or Championship. So very interesting. It's now on to Ryan Ong, a bit of pressure on him to keep Commonwealth in the running because if he does not emerge winner in this game then Fuhua will have won the semi-final. He still will play out the remaining two games though and that would be Pride and Counters. Well done here by Ryan Ong, two inspiring words from his coach. That backhand on the return facing the other way can sometimes be just such a difficult shot. Oh. 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 Right 
serving at five points. Oh. Chair there for oh. his lap for Ryan up from the coach. That was a bit of a good whip there from Rhino. Still holding six. on, it's Ming Yu, who's now won 13 points. on eight points and bring you 14 a oh, lovely placement absolutely marvelous you love it when you can just direct that shot in an unplayable position and that's really the essence of badminton or just like table tennis although badminton it can be achieved with that right amount of control table tennis tends to be a tad bit more difficult to achieve that given the size of the table well done there drawing in a bit of aggression Eight. now. The Fuhua youngster is on to 16 wow. points. Wow. Line on. Love that spirit. He wants to fight back. He's actually enjoyed his game, and that's what's so key at this stage. Back to Ming Yu. for the kill there. Oh, lovely return from Ong this time. Thank you. Oh. Trying to get that through and it is Ong will win this battle. Marvelous rally Ten. between the lads. 17. Absolutely marvelous rally. So 10 points to 17. Ming looking to finish that and he's done well. Well, that certainly moved rather 18. fast. Packing a good bit of power into that shot. Leads by 18 points. Three points away from the first game point. And Ryan Ong is on to 11. 11, 18. Out. Up on sale, out of line. So 19 points. Oh. The net 20, favors the lucky. That's what I'd 11. say. Nine out of ten, you can see it scale over, but just when you most need it to. It's such a boon when you're down. And that's what you call a fine, fine touch to have it land right on the line. So that's first game done. 21 points in the bag for Mingyo, who leads in this third event of the day, which is the second singles of the day, who, who are comfortably in the lead. Mingyo, who are leading by a comfortable margin. And the final score was 21-11. Ryan Ong, well, just stepping in when he could uh, come in, but couldn't really stretch has much to stay in the game all said and done it's currently still the early days in this game but such a crucial game as i said because if fu hua managed to claim it and if Mingyu wins this game then it's pretty much fu hua who will sail through to the finals second game no ball play into the second game. And Ryan Ong will be delighted that he'll have claimed the first point.
Oh, that's what you call killer instinct. You want to see that sometimes, and uh, he does do it well, Mingyu. He can well, pull in those car shots when it's most needed. What? Well, did not gauge that too well, so it's two all back again. Mingyu the snap with the return. Ryan Ong. I think it's hard to see can Ryan Ong on three points. And he's got that ability. Did mention that earlier. Mingyu, he can knock the ball down or knock the birdie down when he needs to. And that's so important. Straight into the net once again. But he wouldn't mind that. It's still pretty much a close encounter here. Yeah. Well, how confident do you have to be about your placement when you can't actually see the direction that the shuttlecock is going to travel in? And this time, Ryan Ong rises to the occasion. by a single point and a change of the shuttlecock of the body. Wear and tear is always a big thing. at his coach earlier, the Fuhua youngster, Ryan Ong, hoping for that first break and the lead, and he now leads 11 points to four. There'll be a few words for Mingyu from his uh, coach, and uh, Ryan Ong getting a few words from his coach. It's so important that he stays in this game, and if he can pull off a win and claim this match, then he keeps uh, Commonwealth secondary still in the running for the finals, because remember, it's the best of five, so three games won by either school or three matches won by the school and that's pretty much it now the question is there's still two more matches left after this if Ong claims this one there's a chance that Commonwealth could stay on course for the finals if he doesn't we'll still play out the last two matches but that means it's pretty much the end of the road to the finals for Commonwealth if they do not claim a win in this match And the change 
of the birdie as well. So important. Serves at 13 points to seven, the Commonwealth secondary youngster really fighting back in this game. And well, he did think that he got that in the line, but it wasn't. But unfortunate for him. Swingier was just looking surprised. Turn, but he couldn't get that back in. And well done by Lin Yeo to smash that down as quickly as he could. And it looks like Ryan Long's got a slight cramp. foot and that's not a good thing. Well a cramp in your thigh muscle can always be an issue. I'm just trying to stretch it as best as you can. But he did slip earlier and it could have been that jerk as well. So just offsetting at the same time while he does get tended to. It's so important for well the opposition that's uh, for Mingyu of uh, Fuhu also to keep his momentum. Uh, hopefully Ryan Ong will be back. Well, there's still a worry as you can see. Well, it's that fall really that he did take that could have triggered it. Because most of the lads would have had a good bit of warm-up before the game. on the surface if the surface is even a little bit sticky you can actually change what's happening so might have his well legs strapped up where he did fall. We saw that earlier. Now normally when you do have a player who's behind points, well he will break the momentum, but not in this case. This is a genuine injury. Because Ryan Ong is leading by three points. And uh, has proved to be a handful in the second game. So the surface cleaned. Remember you want to take off any blemishes or any area that could be even the slightest bit grimy or sticky and that's so important on our wooden floors. So 
right now getting his leg tended to. I would expect to see it taped up as well. Looks like he's had a slight. Don't know whether it's a scrape or a cut. And uh, while we await and hope for Rhinong to get back into this game, um, let's very quickly run you through well, what's happening right here today. It's the Singapore School Sports Council Initiative, the National School Games, Badminton West Zone B Division Boys Championship. Remember that the contest is on for the finals. Watch on. The home school face are facing off with Nanhua on the neighboring court. But what's in front of us today and what I'm covering uh, is Fuhua secondary facing off with Commonwealth for that one spot in the finals. So the winners of the whole activity here today at the Hua Chong Institution, well, those winners will go on to contest the first and second place. Those that do not win here today, those teams will contest the third and fourth place. As of now, as far as Hu Hua is concerned, they won their first two events. That was the first singles, which was won by Chong Xian with a 21-5, 21-4 victory over Aston Tay of Commonwealth Secondary. And in the doubles, it was Fu Hua who ran away winners once again with Chen Xianqi and uh, Lucas Tan winning 21-19, 21-19 over Joe Tan and Peng Lei Lun of Commonwealth Secondary. So Ryan Ong is back up. Quick apology there to his opponent. And hopefully, well, his uh, fitness will hold him good. He has had his knee strapped up. And it looks like it was more of a scrape or a gash that was bothering him. It's back to the action right here. Both the lads, of course, are coming Service back over. into this game. 11, 14. And Domingue of uh, Fuhua We're getting back into the action. Getting a few straight points. Remember, he was well, just keeping 12, his momentum 14. running. turn of events but uh, Commonwealth uh, Ryan Ong still holding it together he's got to be careful about those moves on field and his leg does look like it is struggling a little bit but what a fantastic smash from Mingyu to claim the serve back again and Ryan Ong will still retain the serve now at 16 points it's always well the toughest when you do have an injury but if you can well, conquer that could always be a good thing so 14 points is uh, what uh, is what Puhua are on right now Commonwealth move up to 17 with Ryan on 17 14 so important when that he does play but if it's a really bad injury then the coach will actually stop it because you might win today but you might not the next day and the injury could just prove to be detrimental but Ong seems to be fine he's a fighting fit lad 
Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done by Mingyu. To claim the serve back again. So, Fuhua. Now just a point behind. And that's the interesting bit. As they move on. And this encounter. Commonwealth well still in the driver's seat. Can Ryan Hong power this through and win the first game? How important is that? 19-15. So, first game point here for Ryan Hong. And it will be interesting to see if he can pull it off. So, so fighting fit here, 21-15 is what Ryan Ong claims the second game. It's even Stevens and for the first time in today's events here we are set up for a best of three. So here we are in what's turning out to be a real firecracker of a game. We've had everything on it. We've had one side win it first. That was uh, Mingyo winning the first game for uh, Fu Hua. And then Ryan Ong fighting through injury to come back to win the second game 21-15. So it is the final game. And uh, that's what we want really, a fight that goes down to the wire. Ryan Ong with the serve. So Ong, Ong has been holding his own fairly well so far, but what will happen in this game that's so important? Mingyu of uh, Fuhua. Oh, that's a marvelous return. Absolutely nicely done. He knew exactly what he wanted before he could execute that. Let's keep you also in the loop about what's happening on the other court, uh, where Hua Chong are facing off with Nan Hua, and that is for the other spot in the finals. Remember the winner of these battles here between Fu Hua and uh, commentary will go on to the final. And uh, the winner of the Hua Chong and Nan Hua battles will go on to the final as well. Right. That's what you call power pack, but he just couldn't get it within the line. Now, Hua Chong won their first singles game against Nan Hua. Then they won their first doubles game. Both scores were of course 2-0, 2-0 and uh, they're on to their third singles just like we are uh, in this game and uh, strangely <laughs> it, it's it's kind of the same story because there too it's one game all in their second singles game. Uh, year two it's one game all in their second singles in our second singles so right now Commonwealth lead four points to two and then you Well, three points behind Ryan Ong, who served. That one sailed out, and uh, once again, he slipped a bit. We'll have to watch his movement carefully. And if you try and figure out how do well surfaces or wooden surfaces get a bit sticky or get a bit of grime it's very easy it's really the perspiration that most often causes it and do remember you do perspire buckets here when you're playing a game of basketball it's not something you can stop fantastic finish there from Mingyu just unable to provide a reply uh, to that one 
was the Commonwealth youngster. Mingi to serve. Oh, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Within the line, and Mingi draws level to now Fuhua and Commonwealth once again running neck and neck. This game, as I said, so crucial. Crucial for Fuhua to win it to finish it and ensure their place in the finals. Crucial for Commonwealth to win it to stay on course for the finals. Give themselves a fighting chance. The birdie still remains lodged in the net. shot always difficult to master but when you can do the perfection how important is that so Commonwealth back on course with six all here oh lovely finish what a return of serve there for Mingyu that's a killer return leads by seven points to six Watch and wait, then if it gets within the line, Fuhua will keep the lead and that's what happens here. Yeah. Oh, just dragging that down a bit. Nine, six. to serve. Stretching his lead now. Long did start off in an emphatic fashion, but just have to concede a few points. I was hoping for that to step out of line, and it has. So Rhinong gets back in. Just get the feeling that his leg still. He's troubling him a tad bit. To make out by his footwork. And he's fighting back as best as he can. Well, likes to finish it that way. Thank you. by two points will be looking at claiming the next one before they get into the timeout. That's a wrap. So Commonwealth still very much in this contest. Remember it's still a one all result as far as the games are concerned in this match. Rhinong has done well to stay in this rally. Well, right up to that point, so the first or the timeout really for the third game and uh, Fuhua lead 11 points to 9 through Mingyu. It's uh, Rhinong who's on 9 points for Commonwealth Secondary. So this is always very, very important for most of the lads on field to keep their stamina together. I did mention this earlier. Uh, Ong seems to be well, just struggling from a little bit of uh, leg worry. And it hasn't been all easy for him. We've seen that too much of this game today. So he will have to well, work on that. That's a 
fine shot from right on just to make sure that his opponent wouldn't get back at that. So he's on to 10 points. So in for combo. Two points now separating the lads on the court. Mingyu in the lead. Stretch that to three points. part of this game today, uh, in the third game, it's Mingyu who's managed to just stay slightly ahead, kept his nose right ahead in front of the competition, or of his opponent, and that's been so important because you want to keep those slight leads going. You can do wonders for your confidence, just knowing that you're slightly ahead rather than behind. That's another lovely execution from the Fuhua youngster. 15 points to 11 as he leads. change as far as the momentum is concerned in the third game. Oh, Just sucking himself up right on. So let's keep you updated on the other contest that's happening between Hua Chong secondary and Nan Hua secondary. Hua Chong of course winning their first singles and first doubles and uh, what comes as a huge surprise is that Nan Hua have claimed uh, the third event, which is their first singles. So that could be going down to a best of five. We'll left to be seen whether this one will as well right here. And this is really for qualification for the finals more than anything else. Whichever of the teams wins three points or three events first will be the team to go through. And the umpire just having a word with Ryan Ong about whether he can continue. Or not. And here he will continue with the game. Trying for him to run on. Nineteen. Past him, and that leg has worried him. It's very evident now. So, Mingyu of Fuhua uh, comfortably in the lead. And now on to game and match point. Well, it's been trying for him as well. Yeah, you don't want to see your opponent uh, well injured and you don't want to win a game like that. That's what any competitor would think. Oh, that's a fantastic finish. Game and match. Mingyu of Fuhua winning it. Match won by Fuhua and, uh, Second School. 21, 11, which means that 15, 21, 21, so let's very quickly recap the scores for you. It was... Uh, Ming here representing uh, Fu Hua and he's uh, won this match 21 10 20, 15 21 21 12 so Ryan Ong really being the Ryan Ong being well the fighting warrior for his team but Fu Hua will have sailed through to the finals they've ensured their spot 
in the finals tomorrow. Left to be seen what happens between Hua Chong and Nan Hua and who their competitor will be. But having said that, we are getting into our next event, which is the second doubles match between Fu Hua and uh, Commonwealth Secondary. I did mention this earlier that we will play out all five games. So very interesting to know now what will happen in these last two games. But all said and done, Fu Hua through Chong Chi An, Chen Chi An Chi, Lucas Tan and Theo Mingyu uh, making sure that they've got to through to the finals of the West Division uh, Boys B Division sorry um, finals. Now let's very quickly look at uh, the other lads who will get on the court right now. It's Ethan Siu. And corrected on my on my list, and here we have it. It's Owen Owen Lee Bin for Fuhua, and he's being joined by Phelan Lin Song Zia. While for Commonwealth, it will be Austin, Austin Kaur, and Austin will be joined by Shu Shi Tong Lee. So an interesting pairing. So that's appearing back again. Owen and Phelan will represent uh, Fuhua. Owen is in the blue shoes while Phelan is wearing the black shoes with the green laces. That's the easiest to spot these lads. For Commonwealth Secondary, the lad in the orange shoes, that's Austin Kaur. And the lad with the knee band and the pink shaded shoes is Shi Tong Lee. So one more round of action coming up for you. Right here the Hua Chong Institution.
So we're about to start off with our second doubles matchup of uh, the contest between Fuhua Secondary and Commonwealth Secondary. Representing Fuhua. Austin and Tong Li. Representing Commonwealth. We're into the first little rally between the lads. Out. Unable to knock that in. Just puts it out of the line. So Commonwealth do get a point. Well done this time by Owen. Who will also serve for Fuhua. Good return by Tang Lee. Two, one. It is Fuhua still holding serve. And they've now raced to 3 1. in control of this game fairly easy that's what they've done just struggling a little bit the Commonwealth lads Austin and uh, Tong Lee shots and uh, feeling just throwing it in as much as he could that's watched well it's 8-1 now that birdie was right within the line and finally you would want to see a change of scenery or a change of serve <laughs> It's not happening. Good return from Phelan to that smash by Tong Lee. Still very good with their return of serves. I'd say the lads from Fu Huo. No! And that's the first uh, unforced error in a very, very long time. But a wonderful Two. rally there Nine. between the lads on both sides of the net. Even with the serve. And there we have it, the timeout. Usually there for Fu Hua, who lead by 11 points to two. Owen's got a smile on his face, uh, talking to his partner, Phelan. as we get back after the timeout. Austin will actually look oh. to execute the smash and this time I must say it is Tong Lee who's got it right 11. to claim the serve back again. Three points to 11. That's where it stands. I feel it once again putting it out of four. line. 11. So four points. Commonwealth building up on what they can. They just struggled a little bit to well, knock that ball down or to knock the birdie down hard. And it's a smash that's really so important, getting it right and the placement. But credit to the two lads who are representing Fu Hua, the return of 
every single smash or even the drop shot has been fantastic. Lovely. Who's a little bit of power for that? Just a gentle touch. Feeling unable to scale the net, so Commonwealth slowly catching up. Just six points behind, but that's exactly what they needed. Huge uh, cry of triumph there just a little bit for Austin. Long Lee. And that sailed out from over. Well done by the Fuhua lads. Lovely smash from Austin. Sorry, lovely smash from Owen earlier. Feeling to serve. Austin with the return. Just dragged that a bit off. So Owen winning this battle over Austin. It's now 15-8. Fuhua lead. That 16 8 now. Quick movement there from Phelan, and well done. 17. Quick reflexes. It will be Phelan to self. Owen looking on. 18. 8. Just inching towards the game point. They've been doing it in a very comfortable manner and that's what's really so important here and that's exactly what i was talking about with these two lads Owen and feeling fantastic ability to return oh, puts that wide lovely rally and it's the commonwealth lads austin core and shi Kong lee who claim it Kong lee with the serve Why that drop shot? It's about using it at the right time. That's so important. Now here's Tong Lee. I do remember the little bit of the sport that I got back in school days. It was always important to to basically use that drop shot wisely. Otherwise, it becomes very easy to read a new game. Lovely rally. Wish it could have gone on a bit longer, but it's Fuhua who'll claim it and Owen to serve. That's in 19 points to 11. Well, just got tangled up there. Lovely return from Austin this time. 12, 19. So we are 12 points to 19, and Austin to serve for Commonwealth. Quick return there. Going to be a change of the shuttlecock and a new birdie because it's Fuhua's time to serve. 20 game point. They had game point and Phelan will serve. Our power play, Tong Lee and Austin turning on the heat here to fight back. Still a few game points here for Fu Hua. Seven to be precise. Now that's game. Fu Hua secondary winning the first game 21 13. So 21 13, the first game done. If Uhua can claim the second one, then it'll be four games or four events that they won in today's uh, battle. So, 
visit us at uh, geo.goe.sg slash nsg and this is in case you want to find out any bits and bobs of information on uh, on the national school games it's it's a very comprehensive site and you will get fixed fixtures uh, schedules results as well as little bits of information about the sport rising stars and more importantly I think you know just supporting the cause uh, also encourages our youngsters remember that uh, these lads are the future and you never know in the field of sport some of them could very well grace badminton courts worldwide representing the country and wearing our colors so you want to stay with that and you want to see uh, see them through encourage them right through the journey on to the second game now and uh, it's Owen who serves for Fu Huo. Second game. Level. Restart. And Austin will be happy. Seven, One. Love. Common to sell. They're still holding on to their lead. Commonwealth. And it's so important to see that if they can figure out what exactly the outcome of this entire well first battle was because as I said this earlier you know reading your opponent's game is so important the first game that we did see in the day was a bit predictable but it was still talent on display more an orthodox badminton style while here we look at a lot of improvisations when a pair kicks in for their school. It's a feeling unable to keep it within the line and uh, Austin serves for Commonwealth. Now that's a worthy rally all right. And it's these long rallies, most often, that Fu Hua have claimed. But when Commonwealth have claimed it, there has been quite a flamboyant finish. Austin was looking for the smash, unable to scale the net, which means it's now back to Phelan, who will serve for Fu Hua. But I did mention that backhand, when you're facing the other way, can be difficult. But, uh, and finding not much of trouble to execute that. It's Tongli now to serve for Commonwealth. Owen with the return. Austin looking to kill it, and he has. serve back again here's Owen so, yeah. not so happy about that move so Seven, five. it's over to Austin back again to serve just looking to jab that through was uh, Owen and three in succession two from Fiedland one from One from uh, Owen was so important to finish off that last point. Seven points. So Commonwealth on Fuwa on six. A rising high to take that. Owen's done well. So seven all. It's going to be a change. A new shuttlecock. Another birdie will pop through. They were looking to finish that rather fast. Austin and Tongli. Oh, what a rally. Well, that's what you want to see them covering most areas of the court, and they've done it all in that single rally. Commonwealth winning it to step up to eight points. 
A lovely exchange between the pairs here. from Tong Lee, Austin with the return, Phelan just trying to use that backhand to go across but uh, couldn't get right under that shot or in control of it, Tong Lee once again with this uh, decent return from Austin, here's Owen, Just got a bit of marvelous footwork if you look at it closely. And, uh, referring to this young lad, Owen. Does tend to move his feet around a lot when he's in the midst of a rally. Otherwise, it's almost a stroll in the park. Austin manning the back area and just misses out on the point of contact. So it's a timeout as Fuhua lead in the second game 11 points to 9 it's close but remember if they just keep that narrow lead till the finish it might be them to walk away with the glory in the fourth event that is Here we are on to the second half of the second game. Owen looking to smash that. Uh, this time straight into the net. So Commonwealth will get closer to the Fuhua score. Here's uh, Tong Lee to serve on 10 points. Uh, that's just watered down. Uh, probably the oldest moves when you're not in the mood for a rally. You just want to finish it as soon as possible. You eye that opportunity. That's a big failing when one of the opponents flights the birdie a bit too high. Well, very impressive. The Fuhua lads return of serve. Absolutely impressive. And uh, this time Commonwealth almost got it twice. Austin just falling the second time around, so it's now 13-10 for Hua lead. Commonwealth on 12. Well, those rallies have just got a bit more enjoyable in this game. Missing the point of contact and here it is. It's back to Fuhua to serve. Feeling will take it. Lovely cross court finish there from Phelan. Was aiming for that a couple of times over previously. He's got that right. Lee and Austin very keen on finishing it fast. I see a feather float in the air. That's straight into the net. and just reminding him that there was a bit of damage done to the to the birdie 16 points to 13 is where we stand Commonwealth is served they're three points behind but they are fighting and here's Austin core to serve 
Well, looking to knock that down rather quickly. And uh, I've got a credit. Well, feeling for those aggressive moves. I won't say pinpoint accuracy, but he gets it 8 out of 10. It's been very impressive from him. And that's exactly what I've been saying right over and over again. He's got the shots when it counts, and it's he's been using it. So who are definitely in the driver's seat and now cruising towards a match point. The Commonwealth started off well, just lost their way a little bit towards uh, the first time out. They are fighting. They are on to 14 points now. Looking for that quick finish. That's what they want. They add match point. Feeling to serve. Over. Looking back again. Austin looking to smash that through, and that's pretty much it. 21 14. Fu Hua win the second game as well. So, this is the fourth event of the day that they have won. The second doubles. Um, Owen Lee Bin and Feeling Lim Song Jie. Uh, have beaten uh, Austin Kaur and Shutong Lee. Shutong Lee, 21-13, 21-14. So Fuhua Secondary School win their fourth event. And for Commonwealth, they still have to win an event after falling out in four events. So 4-0, it stands as far as the tie is concerned. We've got one more singles game to go and left to be seen whether Commonwealth can salvage a bit of pride in this last encounter.
Let's welcome you once again to the Hua Chong Institution where two battles have been going on, one between the home team Hua Chong and uh, Nan Hua. In their tie, they were at uh, two points to one um, when we last checked. But as far as Fu Hua and uh, Commonwealth Secondary are concerned, it's Fu Hua who won four of their events to lead 4-0 in the tie of uh, five matches. So they do progress to the finals, but the last game, of course, will be played for pride. And it's uh, Min of uh, representing Fu Hua, Min Tan Het, and he uh, faces off with Glenn Wong. Glenn Wong representing a Commonwealth Secondary School. So it is the last uh, match of the tie. And very interesting to see what this pans out to be. Um, we did have, of course, just one of those games where uh, we had Ryan Ong who uh, fought back to claim one game before uh, he fell to Mingyu. Uh, Mingyu winning that uh, match with two games to one. So on to the last event. And uh, this, of course, is uh, the National Badminton Championships 2021. Let's not forget that this entire initiative is uh, by the Singapore School Sports Council. And the National School Games last year, well, did come to a halt due to COVID. Rightfully so, it was much needed. But uh, it's great to see the lads back out and the, the boys and the girls as well who've been, you know, taking part in all the contests. Wonderful to see them get back onto those courts, get back out into the open to compete. So this is the National School Games uh, Badminton West Zone B Division Boys Championship. Fu Hua have already made it through to the uh, finals. This is the semi-finals that we are concentrating on right now. And uh, don't forget the, the team that does not win uh, I hate seeing losing. So the team that does not win on uh, in both matches, on both the battles that are happening here, will go on to contest the third and the fourth position. On to the last game, and here's Min of Hu Hu Hua facing off with Glen Wong of Commonwealth. Just stretching that return a bit too much, and uh, Min granting that point to Commonwealth, and this time around, and the serves change back again. Fu Hua still lead, two points to one, and now it's two all back again. Glen Wong to serve for Commonwealth. Well, always so important to keep your focus and concentration on this game and uh, we're just having a chat with uh, the principals and and the respective teachers of, of certain schools right through the past couple of days and today uh, did learn that both uh, these schools have had a very good infrastructure a very good plan in place to look out for sports as far as uh, well, Commonwealth is concerned they dedicate about five and a half hours of training every week uh, to badminton um, for Fu Hua, they've been a part of the DSA program since 2018. Uh, they have lads who could have graced the courts uh, last year, but that did not happen due to COVID. So we're looking at most of them here now because they've actually become seniors now. And it's been a delightful uh, day. Commonwealth may have lost uh, four of those uh, events in this tie, but they have brought the game and brought the contest to the table as far as their preparation is concerned. So it's been a good ride for them too. Glenn Wong, well happy to stay in the lead with three points over Min of Fu Hua. One of the great well, differentials in badminton when you're looking at the contest is the way that players actually adopt their styles. If you look at uh, some of the huge players like Lin Dan, who rely massively on pace, and you look at uh, 
one player who's now of course considered a legend, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia. Fantastic style, which is that unassuming style. It's a very easy, casual gait on the court, but when he flies, or he swoops in for the kill. And uh, go back in history just a little bit to the Sidek brothers, and we'll talk about them after we get into the timeout. For now, it's Commonwealth, who are being represented by Glenn Wong. He's on nine points, but men catching up. He's a point behind for Hu Hua. Not for too long. It's Glenn Wong who claims serve back again and uh, might serve for the advantage at the timeout. Well, not to be so. Men on to nine points will serve for Hu Hua. And there it is, the timeout as uh, Glenn Wong leads 11 points to nine over Min of Fu Hua. I was just talking about it, that style of play is so important and if you look at uh, you look at Min, his footwork has just been a bit laid back. His coach actually talking to him about it very clearly and trying to tell him how that footwork is going to play a part in getting back and forth. And But some players don't really rely too much on footwork but they can use their footwork when it really counts. And uh, as I said, Lee Chong Wei is such a big example. But the Sidek brothers, when they got onto the field or they got onto the court to play, one brother, it was like a good cop, bad cop sensation. One brother always faster, one brother slightly laid back. But when it came to movement and the point of contact, they were equally fast. Deception, that's what it would have been, and a fair bit of it. So here we are, back to the last uh, battle the last match of this tie Glenn Wong facing off with Min of Fu Hua and uh, Min does get the serve at 11 points Glenn Wong will win it to keep a two-point lead and he will serve for Commonwealth secondary Looking to power that through. You always want to try and finish off the rally as fast as possible. That's the key towards conserving stamina. A lovely move, but couldn't get that birdie into the line of play. Min just hoping to keep his wits together. Will not want to drop this game so fast. Glenn Wong serving at 14 points. And now it will be even Stevens. Men draws level. Just missing out entirely on the judgment of that. Missing the touch entirely. Glenn Wong. Of Commonwealth serving. And once again, the serve will switch sides. So that'll be a fairly quick battle between the lads. Lovely smash from Glenn Wong. Just in time. Got the placement right. Got the location right. Hit the destination. And that's what you want. Late reply, but well done there from Min. Oh, well, that's another killer finish. 18, now he's up to 18 points, two ahead of his opponent, Glenn Wong. Could have been a great return, but just failed to scale the net. And it is Min who will claim it. 17 points now for the Fuhua youngster. A oh, lovely placement, I would have said, if it had made the line. 19, so on to 19 points for Glenn Wong. Oh, Min, lovely shot there. And Glenn Wong just managing to get it within the line. He'll be so excited. He's at game point. And that's the first game. It's the first time in today's tie between these two schools that Commonwealth have claimed the first game. And it's Glenn Wong who's won it 21-17.
So we are on to the second game. And Glenn, can Glenn Wong salvage a bit of pride for Commonwealth? Win this game? That is so important to find out. Now, Phu Hua have been quite a strong team all along. But they did fall at the hands of uh, Hua Chong. Just to run you through that in the West Zone B Division Boys Championship quarterfinals. It was uh, oh. it was Fu Hua who uh, went on to win against Nan Hua 3 2. Then they destroyed Hillgrove Secondary School 4 1. Before they defeated Kranji Secondary School 5 0. So I do stand corrected. They won uh, basically all all three of their games, played three, won three, netted six points, and had uh, one. And they claimed the first position on the on the matrix table. Now we look at the other competitors. None who are finished right behind them. If you look at the other table, we will see Commonwealth. Commonwealth defeated Chochukan 4-1. Then they had a narrow win over Jurong secondary 3-2. But they fell to Hua Chong Institution 4-1. And that was really a big, a big blow to them. So here they are contesting one spot in the finals, which they've already claimed actually, Fu Hua. While on the other end, it's Nan Hua and uh, Hua Chong who are contesting the other spot in the finals. Remember, the teams that do not win out of the four today will contest the third and fourth position. So right here in the second game, it's uh, Glenn Wong who leads six points to three over Min of uh, Fu Hua secondary. That, of course, is a fine way to watch and wait. Or wait and watch where exactly it's going to land. Sometimes the speculation might not always be right, but with experience, it just gets better and better. And using just a tad bit of aggression and doing well, he's raced away to a good lead here couple of points just in the back straight and so now leads nine points to three and now men will claim the serve he's on four points for Fuhua always looking for that placement but his touch just denying him Just out of the line. Glenn Wong just uh, getting himself, motivating himself. Oh, lovely touch there from him. And we are close to the timeout. But he hold on to that lead. Here we have it. Time out. Glenn Wong leads in the second game. 11 points to 6. Glenn Wong will resume serve at 11-6. Oh. So 
And we'll restore it back to Min of Fuhua, who's on six points. Oh, seven points, sorry. Lovely execution there of that smash, which also means it's got a few feathers flying. We'll have a look at the birdie and change it. A new shuttle clock always. Makes a better play. Has a unique style of serve. Does not like to dip the racket, but likes to keep it more perpendicular when serving. Glenn Wong. That could be either a default or just a, a unique style that he would have adopted. Doesn't make it too fancy. Keeps it simple. On to eight points here is Min for Fuhua. Glenn Wong of Commonwealth on 13. And uh, well, that's what you call a finish, a fine finish. Well, kept it right on line. Pinpoint accuracy for that one. Looking for it the second time around. Goes cross court and lovely finish. So he's keeping that lead intact. Able to drag that through, Min concedes another point. Uh, let's not forget, uh, just before the contest did start off, and I was, of course, inquiring a bit about the lads that are going to take part, and um, schools would always be concerned about the other school not knowing who their competitor is or who they're going to be facing. Um, and there's a reason for it in, in the community as far as badminton is concerned. Some of these lads have played against each other in the past. They played for similar clubs or at similar community centers. So they tend to know each other's game pretty well. Uh, the element of surprise is always important uh, rather than, you know, it's best to prepare yourself for the test and uh, then go on with it. So leading now fairly well is uh, Glenn Wong of Commonwealth. Men uh, trying to fight back, but he's had just a few worries. He's had a few worries with his footwork more than anything else, but he's on 10 points. Glenn Wong. Well, we'll have to keep his calm and his cool if he wants to make it through in this game. The last thing you want to do is can't see too many points. He's now two points away from claiming the match if he can hold his nerve. Min doing his best. Oh. And there it is, match point. But was looking to finish that off. Execution right at the end. Sometimes it's best to not get overwhelmed, but he's Still very much in control of this game. And uh, he's claimed it, Glenn Wong. So Glenn Wong winning it 21 17, 21 12 uh, over Glenn Wong of Commonwealth a Secondary School over Fu Hua's uh, Min Tant Tet. Now let's not forget that. Uh, Fuhua, as uh, far as they are concerned with the final score of the tie, they have uh, won 4-1, which means they won two singles and two doubles. Let's very quickly recap that for you. For Fuhua, it was Chong Xian who won the first game by uh, winning two games. It was 2-0 the score, and uh, he defeated Ashton Tae of Commonwealth Secondary. Then Chen Xianqi and Lucas Tan also won 2-0 over Jovis Fang and Peng Wei Lun of Commonwealth uh, Secondary. So it is for Hua who have claimed four events and Commonwealth Secondary who've claimed uh, uh, one event. The last event, of course, a very exciting one where Glenn Wong salvaged a bit of pride for Commonwealth Secondary School. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for the coverage of this uh, uh, semi-finals in the boys B division West zone we will catch you again with more action for the finals uh, of the of the boys uh, B division West zone and uh, waiting to find out whether it's none who are or Hua Chong who have got to that position I'm Glenn Mascarenas saying uh, goodbye for now from the Hua Chong Institute catch you again with more action in most sports in the national school games right as we cruise towards the end of this event thank you so much for joining us today